In this lesson, we are going to uh, do an example of a grams to moles stoichiometry problem. So given the following equation, C2, um, acetylene gas, C2H2, is produced by adding water to calcium carbide. In the following equation, one mole of calcium carbide and two moles of water yields one mole of acetylene gas and one mole of calcium hydroxide. And so what we're going to do is we're going to determine how many molecules of calcium carbide are needed to react completely with 49 grams of water. So we're going to write down the given, which is 49 grams of water. The unknown is how many moles of calcium carbide are needed. So this will be a multiple step problem. We're going to start with the given. And so we're going to start with 49.0 grams of water. And we're going to have to convert to moles of water grams of water to one mole of water using the molar mass of water. So the molar mass of water is going to be two hydrogens, which is 1.01, so that's 2.02, .02. plus there's one oxygen, 1 times 16, and that equals 16, and so it's 18.02 grams per one mole. And I put grams on the bottom so that I could cross out grams of H2O. And now I need to go to moles of calcium carbide. So I'm going to use the mole to mole ratio as the second step. And since I have mole of water on the top, I'm going to have mole of water on the bottom. And I'm going to have mole of the unknown, which is calcium carbide on the top. And the numbers are going to be a 1, because if there's nothing in front of it, it's a 1, 2, 2. And to calculate that, I'm going to say... 49 divided by everything on the bottom divided by 18 equals divided by 2 equals so that equals 1.36 moles of calcium carbide so that is